Lots of changes have come with this new season. Let's look at our first limited time mission. Welcome back to Fortnite Factory, your inside man on all Fortnite news. Make sure you like and subscribe to never miss out on our content. Stick around to the end of the video. We are working with an awesome streamer and we would love for you to get to know him. This season brought in many changes. One of them was the replacement of daily challenges. It was replaced with special limited time missions that drop every week and have a new challenge every day. The first weekly limited time mission is the Brute Squad. These have been dropping challenges every day, so not all of them will be active by the time we post this video. However, since Fortnite Factory always tries to get you the inside scoop, we have the full list ready to show you, so that you have no trouble completing this challenge. The first challenge for this mission is very simple. All you need to do is play with a friend. This is going to be easy for some and difficult for others. If you don't have any friends that play Fortnite, try looking on Fortnite's official Discord. There's a lot of activity there and it should be pretty easy to find someone to play with. One of the best ways to make Fortnite friends is just talking to people when you do random duos, trios, or squads. Having a good conversation can be even more enticing for them to send you a friend request than actually being a good player. Good players get respect, nice players get friends. Try it out. You may be pleasantly surprised. The second challenge for this week's missions has to do with getting eliminations. The key on this one is distance, or lack thereof. Eliminations from closer than 5 meters. Make sure you have a shotgun and then get in close. One of the best ways to get this, if you are struggling, is to play Team Rumble. You respawn every time you die in Team Rumble, so you can get in close, get the kill, or die trying over and over and over. You only need 2 kills. I'm a pretty average player myself, and I can usually get more than 10 kills in a Team Rumble. Even if you are brand new to the game, you should be able to get those 2 kills. The third challenge for this week's limited time mission has to do with the Brute Mech itself. I mean, the mission is called Brute Squad. What did you expect? The Brutes may be hard to fight for in solos, but they are a little bit easier to get in duos or squads. All you need to do is get in the Brute in 5 different matches. We are going to be very blunt on this one. Expect to die a lot. But also remember that if there is only one person in the Brute, you can still get in it if the other seat isn't taken even if the other seat is manned by the enemy. Also, most people haven't realized that you can self-destruct the brute. It's a pretty clever way to eliminate a brute and an enemy pilot if you don't happen to get your teammate in with you. The fourth challenge for this week's limited time mission is very simple. Apply shields. You need to apply 500 shields, but it doesn't reset every match, so just play a lot and make sure you are applying those shields. If you are particularly worried about finishing this before the week is up, then go into an LTM or Team Rumble and apply shields, die, respawn, rinse, repeat. You should get that 500 shield challenge out of the way pretty rapidly. The fifth challenge for this week's limited time missions doesn't require you to get eliminations, but it does, however, ask you to deal a lot of damage and from a specific place. Dealing 500 damage from below is how you complete the challenge. This is another one that we recommend Team Rumble for. It's a great way to get that damage quick. Make sure you try it out. Our sixth challenge for this week's limited time missions has us searching seven chests at Dusty Depot and or Pleasant Park. Note that Pleasant has way more chests than Dusty. We recommend a few Pleasant drops and you should be good. Remember that a good tactic is to use your hearing to know where the chests are. If you drop on the roof and don't hear a chest, jumping off and going in a door is much faster than breaking through the roof and the ceiling. Don't waste your time. Slow people die faster. Funny how that works. And the last challenge for the first limited time mission is extremely easy. All you need to do is visit Snobby Shores and Shifty Shafts in the same match. Do note that if you don't try and do this, it probably won't happen naturally. Drop Snobby and then head towards Shifty since the circle is less likely to end at Snobby Shores. Before we finish, let's quickly look at the rewards. We start with 10 battle stars. These are the same stars that level up our battle pass. 
tier of the battle pass requires 10 stars, so this means the first reward is essentially a battle pass tier. The second is 500 season XP. XP also levels you up during the season whether you have purchased the battle pass or not. Each time you level up, you are also rewarded 2 battle stars, which progress the battle pass. The third reward is the Brute Squad loading screen entitled You Can't Hide. Next is another 10 battle stars, followed by 1,000 XP points and another 10 battle stars. The final reward is 2,000 XP points. So during this week, if you complete all 7 of the challenges, you will receive 30 battle stars, a loading screen, and a total of 3.5 thousand XP. This has been Fortnite Factory's Brute Squad Limited Time Mission Guide. Note that if you don't see some of these challenges in your game, they are either coming soon or no longer show because you already completed them. As we mentioned before, we are working with an awesome streamer that is racking up his followers as a Facebook streamer. His channel is Captive Gaming, and he streams high quality content daily and has so much passion for gaming and the community. He is exclusively on Facebook. Let's watch him play. So welcome to the stream, everybody. You guys have to drop a like, share, and follow on the page. No, you want to. Hey, you want to. Sean Tremaine Jones Jr. Look at that badge, man. Look at that badge. How's it going, Sean? How's everyone doing this morning, guys? Welcome back, y'all. You did, dude. Yep, got him. Thank you. You ready for the siphon? Yep. Yeah, oh, you're such a goat. Right here. Oh, oh. Yeah, dude, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. That actually, you know what? It actually worked out good because I needed the health. <laughs> got him, got him. Oh, oh. Good shot. Good knock, dude. One more. Got him. We got the green monster energy drink, man. As always, my all-time favorite energy drink, dude. Oh. Got him. He's dead. Oh! Let's go, baby. Show him, bro. Back on him. Shotgun too, but he feels trash right now. One shot. They're all hurt. They're all hurt. Nice. Fortnite factory in the house, everybody. Just some respect for that man. Woo! This guy with that sniper up there does not like me. Kill, dude. I downed him. Holy crap, dude! Oh, and the finish. <laughs> That's what's up, dude. We got to rotate, right? Go, bro. Got you. Got you. Love my crew, man. What's up, guys? I'm on a mask. I'm on a Just end it. Fuck it. Rip. J Make sure you go and follow Captive Gaming on Facebook. We also highly recommend you become one of his supporters so that you can buy stars and support him with your donations. Thanks, Captive, for this collab. Thanks for tuning in to Fortnite Factory. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so that you are notified every time we drop a new video. Catch you next time on the Battle Bus.